As I mentioned, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. Uh, there's at-home workouts where you can find different household items. There's numerous different classes or online workouts you can follow um, on the internet. There's a million at this point uh, because of COVID. It's uh, kind of one of the good things of COVID. It made people realize that you can get good workouts at home. Um, if you're at the gym, doing circuits on machines is a really good one, especially if you're just getting started and you're kind of scared to do all the free weights. Um, just getting in there and just um, pumping through all the machines, that only takes, you know, maybe 10 to 15 minutes, um, especially if you're um, just kind of moving one to one to one. You can get it done super, super quickly. I would also say too, if you do know somebody who is um, an adaptive athlete or somebody who might be in a wheelchair, this is another good option because a lot of those exercises are seated. So if you're able to transfer into those seats, circuits on the machines are a really good option. Um, if you're a little more advanced and you're comfortable with it, you can find a personal trainer or somebody to show you how to use free weights. Um, that's my favorite thing to do um, because it's uh, very challenging and it's something that kind of keeps it interesting and you can switch it up a lot of different ways too. Uh, there's also a lot of different exercise weight classes. I know my mom does this one called body pump where it's basically in tune with music and you get weights and you just have a good time with your friends. Um, it's all synchronized together and it really doesn't even feel like you're lifting weights at all. Um, you're just kind of moving around um, with some light weights with friends. I'm out of it, I'm out of it, and home, man, to tell me you know.